we took a look at doing a three-way handshake. I want to remind you how that works, and we'll look at one with a protocol analyzer if you want to. So this may be enough. So this host wants to talk to that host. The very first thing it does, if I typed in telnet to that IP address, or to that name, what would be the first thing that happens? So I'm sitting here, and I say telnet space bubba.com. What's the first thing that happens? DNS. DNS. Fantastic. Then after we have an IP address, we then, because we're using Telnet, it says, oh, TCP, and TCP says, I need to set up a three-way handshake. It creates a source port, and it goes to the well-known port on the far side for Telnet, which is 23, and it sends its own SYN request. That's like me saying, Robert, do you want to talk? Mm -hmm. So that's the SYN. We acknowledge that. Uh, the server acknowledges it back to us and says, hey, while I'm at it, because this is a bi-directional channel we're setting up, I'm also going to send you my own synchronization request, meaning, OK, I acknowledge you want to talk to me. I'm game with that. And by the way, do you want to talk with me? So SYN request here, SYN request and acknowledgment sent back to the, the, the client, the guy who started it. So all we have to do finally is recognize that we acknowledge a SYN request, and we're good to go. It's a three-way handshake. The numbers are funky, though. Can I point out the funky numbers? Now, do you need to know this for certification? Absolutely. In the real world, if you're troubleshooting at this level, you're way beyond CCNA. Fair enough? That's absolutely how it works. So the guys in TAC who are digging deep into something might have to find out you know, what's happening with an application. But if I send a sequence number of 100, I will receive an acknowledgment, an acknowledgment back of 101. And these usually refer to bytes. So if, I've sent, if I send one byte of data with sequence number 100, basically this client will receive it and say, OK, I'm ready to receive 101. It's like pay it forward. So if I say SYN 100, he'll send ACK 101, and my next sequence number will be 101. So that's just from that part of the story. From his sequence number, he sent sequence number 300. So the acknowledgment that'll come back will be 301. It's kind of it's interesting. It's not natural for a human being to say, OK, I totally get that. But the concept is. Robert sends me up to 1,000 bytes. He sends sequence number zero, for example, sends me 1,000 bytes. I'm going to send him an acknowledgment saying 1,001, which is his cue is, OK, great. I can pick up right at 1,001 and send him my next chunk of data. So it always increments by one? No. In it never, data? well, it never in real data, one. it right. never increments by one. How does it decide how much to increment by? We're going to start by the byte count. Okay. So in the slides, they use a window size of like one, just an example. And when we bring up a live protocol analyzer, I'll show you. But if I'm sending 10 million bytes, I'm going to send maybe a sequence number of one. I'll send you 1,000 bytes. You'll send me acknowledgment 1,001. And I'll pick up at 1,001 in that big. But when you get the acknowledgement back, it's always one more. Than yes. One. Okay, that's what I. The acknowledgement yeah. is going to be whatever your sequence was, yeah. plus one. Okay. Thank you for helping me get that to clarify your question. It'll always be the next number up. Okay. Flow control. Here's an idea. Just an idea. Let's say that you have a session established with TCP with the server, and you're having a great time. Data's going back and forth and back and forth, and the sender which is usually the server, sends three chunks of data. And then you're not ready to process. I mean, your computer's busy. You can't handle it, whatever. Instead of sending an acknowledgment saying, oh, yeah, send the next piece, I can send an acknowledgment that says, oh, wait, even though I got 1,000 bytes of data, I need to start at 500 again. And so it can send a, an acknowledgment that says 501 instead of 1,001. And that will train this guy to say, oh, OK. I'm going to go ahead and resend starting at 501. And I may not send as many next time because something happened bad. And so I can shrink what's called the window size. So instead of sending three chunks of data and then waiting for acknowledgment, didn't work out too well, OK, let me send two. And if that doesn't work, maybe I'll send one. So it's self-throttling if the network isn't working quite right or a PC isn't working quite right. Would we get any of this with UDP? There's no mechanism in UDP to even have a clue about the sequencing. It's all based on TCP.